I have been a Republican my entire adult life. Uh, I voted in my first presidential election in 1992 for George H.W. Bush and voted Republican in every election following up until 2016. I just feel like the, the current Republican Party led by Donald Trump has severely lost their way, uh, especially in the, er in the areas of moral leadership and principled values. Donald Trump thinks he's a leader, but Donald Trump is not a leader. And I think you can look at the response during the COVID-19 crisis to see exactly how much he doesn't lead. Um, he calls himself out as the supreme leader, but then turns around and takes no responsibility and puts everything off on the governors. That's not leadership. If you're a leader, you provide answers. I come from a very conservative background. I, I still believe in conservative principles as a values voter. And that's really what I've been for my whole adult life. Um, I think the driving component has always been abortion and the importance of life. And one of the things that has been the hardest for me is to see the disregard for life outside of the arena of abortion that this administration has, has embraced. If we're truly values voters, if we care about life, we have to care about life, not just at conception, but right on through until it's over. And that's for everybody. Hillary Clinton was never somebody I could vote for. I, just because I don't support Donald Trump doesn't mean I became a liberal or a, someone who espouses democratic I, ideals. When we were against Bill Clinton in 92 and 96, it was because of who he was. And we made a big deal out of the fact that somebody with that low of a moral compass and, and weakness in that area was just something we would not accept in the White House. And Donald Trump is worse. I don't agree with a lot of what Democrats stand for, but Joe Biden is somebody I can look to as somebody who has reached across the aisle recognizes that governing in the United States means you have to give and take, negotiate, come up with the best that fits both sides. Um, is he perfect? No, no, he's not even close to perfect. And would I vote for him under 95% of the circumstances out there? No, but he is head and shoulders above our current president. And I will vote for Joe Biden because I think getting rid of Donald Trump is that important, not just for the Republican Party, but for the soul and um, character of our nation.